autobiography about an Indian girl searching for her identity. Born in 55, Mary lived in great poverty. On a reservation trying to keep her sanity. Forced relocation to desolate reservations. The natives were accused of barbaric superstitions. Mary had to deal with white assimilation and her mom was a victim of forced sterilization. At the age of 10, she was drinking alcohol Cause life on the res was detestable She was sent to boarding school to be white manized Cause her culture was thought to be uncivilized At a young age, she ran away and hit the road She had to steal to survive, she had no abode Cause all the whites she met were extremely racist She joined the AIM to be a native activist She fought for equal rights and to end white tyranny With their friends, she made a stand at the sight of wounded knee The medicine man of the the tribe was named Leonard Crowdog. She married him and took the name of Mary Crowdog. Then she lived a life that was much more traditional. With this help, Mary became much more spiritual. There's more to the story, but you just have to read it. Give it to your students, cause you just can't beat it.